residents in Lemon Valley don't see a beautiful lake that surrounds their neighborhood. It's gross. It's all green algae and really disgusting. They see a sewage cesspool. Kim Simino says the water is killing birds and making her sick. I just don't trust it. I'm, and I've been sick for nine weeks. This past winter and spring, Lemon Valley turned into a retaining pond for massive amounts of rain and snow that fell in the area. It all collected here and pushed Swan Lake over its banks. <laughs> Many months later, and there's still no place for the water to go. I have concerns about it because of the fact that it is a body of water that just keeps receiving in water, doesn't flush out like a natural lake. Today, houses continue to be surrounded by floodwaters. I had about this much water in my backyard. At homes where the water is gone, the problems didn't recede with the water. <coughs> simino has been to the hospital six times, the emergency room twice. I've had a really bad cold, my chest. Um, I had pneumonia. Um, I've got a rash on my leg that is huge, and it makes my legs swell up really bad. Simino's neighbors also have unexplained illnesses, and her dogs have been sick too. Oh, buddy. Yeah. They were both sick. The medical bills are adding up. The dogs, I've spent about $6,000 on the dogs, and me, myself, probably about fifteen. <sighs> my kids were raised in this house. I love my house, and I just don't want to move. I love it out here. I mean, this is my life. This is my whole life right here. And now it looks like a war zone. The residents think the stagnant floodwaters, the thick algae, and the potentially contaminated groundwater are to blame. Simino's tap water has tested positive for E. coli. And I'm thinking that there's something wrong with the water and they just don't want to tell us. We wanted to know what was in this water, so we're going to take some samples and find out. And we tested from several locations. We took three samples to the Nevada State Public Health Laboratory. They tested for overall bacteria and specifically E. coli. Both were present in the water. The Washoe County Health District explained our results. Just on those three tests that were averaged together, uh, it came to 46.2, which is, like I said, nearly 10 times under the U.S. EPA exceedance for recreational waters. And it's also still under the exceedance for actual swimming beaches. The Health District says in 2017, it's taken 85 water samples from Swan, Silver, and White Lakes. Their test results? They're way below the exceedance level that's set by the U.S. EPA for recreational waters. But spokesman Phil Uliberry admits he would not let his family or even his pets swim in the water. I think when I smell it the most is in the morning. Tammy Holt Still is a board member of the Lemon Valley Swan Lake Recovery Committee, a group of residents who speak for and represent the Lemon Valley residents. She's concerned that Washoe County isn't doing enough to get rid of the floodwaters. It needs to be pumped out. They need, the city of Reno needs to stop pumping their affluent water in Washoe County, need to stop pumping their affluent water into that lake. It needs to go someplace else. The county says this water isn't making residents sick, but they're not convincing many of the people who are living in this bacteria soup that are doing anything to get up and out of the water. I wish somebody would have done something more and sooner. And as the sun sets on Lemon Valley for another night, residents wonder how many more days they'll have to put up with the flood water concerns. In Lemon Valley, Kim Burroughs reporting.